Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are looking at rainforests. So first of all, we need to know that a rainforest is an ecosystem, and an ecosystem is an area that contains particular plants and animals. So in rainforests, no matter what season, the weather is both hot and wet all year round. Now the reason that it rains quite a, um, quite a lot in rainforests is because of convectional rainforest. Um, and the hot temperatures in the rainforest cause the uh, warm air to rise. And as the warm air rises, it cools and the water vapour produces large clouds. And then it rains and that is what convectional rainforest uh, is. Now for rainforest, we also have to know the four layers. Now at the um, bottom we have the shrub layer. And that's at the bottom of the rainforest and they're very small little plants. Then uh, above the shrub layer, there is a sub canopy layer. Um, above the uh, sub canopy layer, there's a canopy layer. And then at the top, there's the emergence, which are the big trees, which take a long time to make, sometimes about 50 years to 100 years, say. Um, the, the shrub layer um, obviously find it hard to grow because of the light deficit they are, they are unable to get because of the big plants. So now we're going to look at why are rainforests such important ecosystems. So the trees in the rainforest uh, absorb a lot of carbon dioxide, which is obviously a big thing seeing as um, of, of current uh, global warming and everything. Um, and uh, obviously that's the problem when people do cut down trees in rainforests, especially illegal logging for wood, because obviously carbon dioxide is when we can't have too many levels of it. So th these trees absorb this carbon dioxide. Also, without trees transpiring water in the atmosphere, less rain cloud is formed, so less rain falls. Uh, this means that there are droughts and more vegetation dies. So although we don't like rain necessarily in England, for example, as I live in now, um, there is, um, it does mean that it, without any rain, uh, droughts and vegetation wouldn't be able to live. So, um, out, and also, out of the 250,000 species of animals that are known to human, 170,000 can be found in the rainforest. Now, obviously, that's a, a big amount. So that means that only 80,000 are not do uh, can't be found in the rainforest. So obviously, if rainforests were to be destroyed, that's a lot of species which we are missing. Um, forests can also act like a bit of a sponge. They hold rainwater and they release it slowly, and this reduces the chance of floods and droughts, which is uh, obviously good. Um, also, 80% of the food we eat originated in rainforests, which is obviously, without rainforests, we might not eat a lot of the things that we have today. I know, for example, palm oil grows in um, rainforests, and obviously most of the things we eat actually contains palm oil. Um, also, 25% of the medicine used originate from rainforests. So obviously, that this is very, uh, very important that we have these medicines so that we can cure illnesses. And most of the illnesses that we can now cure, which we can cure 200 years ago or 300 years ago, um, wouldn't we wouldn't be able to have if it wasn't for rainforests. Obviously, there are more plants we still need to explore, and that means that more um, medicines will be able to be developed for different illnesses. So finally, I'm just going to say we need to, you also need to know what biodiversity is and the number and types of organisms um, in areas known as bio, uh, bio biodiversity. And tropical rainforests have the greatest biodiversity on the planet. So that's another important reason why rainforests are such important ecosystems and we have to protect them. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. Uh, see you soon. Bye.